as um, per direction from the board last month, I have talked with two marketing firms and received proposals. I've asked Mary to help me review those. So we met last week to go through them in depth, and she has given me some feedback. So I'm actually going to be following up with them this week to um, get more information and have some further questions. Um, also, what I did is, while I was at Consultant Connect in Dallas, met with several consultants based on marketing proposals and kind of just asked them what their feedback was on um, pertinent information just to make sure that we're headed down the right direction. As we do every year, we attended SEMA Auto Show, which is the um, largest aftermarket auto parts show in the world. Um, it actually grew by 70,000 square feet again. It takes up the whole entire Las Vegas Convention Center Sands Expo, the hotels that are connected to the Convention Center, and they have to put up tents and use the parking lots. Um, it's absolutely monstru monstrous. But um, it will wear your feet out, that's for sure. So Stan and I attended that and met up with Dario and Ford and some other key companies um, that might be interested in looking at the last one. I talk about Consultant Connect. Um, Consultant Connect, this is the second one that we've done where we network with 16 different consultants. These consultants are primarily from Texas and um, Tennessee and New Jersey. It's who we met with. Um, they work on industrial type projects. They work on back office, corporate um, type projects. Um, logistics distribution. So one of the lead um, site consultants in logistics distribution was there. We were able to talk to him about Valdosta Lowndes County. He gave us also some, in return, gave us some good insight into things that we can do to help attract the logistics distribution industry. But um, what's unique about the event is it also gives the, the communities or the economic development organizations the opportunity to solicit their feedback um, about where they see companies headed, where they see markets going, and what can economic development organizations do to keep up with things that are changing. So some of their advice for economic development moving forward in the future um, is to continue working closely with their school systems and to pair private industry with the public sector and um, to work on diligently on partnership with infrastructure as it relates to high-speed broadband um, roads, water, sewer, electric, you know, electricity, et cetera, but to keep those relationships ongoing and to help develop infrastructure moving forward. Um, and I have another trip coming up, um, Area Development and Consultant, uh, Consultant Forum in December. This is in Orlando, and this is one that we do every year, um, and we'll reassess some of these trips coming up in 2016. Um, also met with a potential candidate for, um, as an intern, as a potential intern for our uh, marketing role um, to help staff, have, I have to say this to staff, they've done a great job picking up um, some of those responsibilities that are out there. So we meet daily to talk about those responsibilities and how we can make sure that we're accomplishing those goals throughout. Um, but we certainly need some extra help and so we're looking at an intern and we will keep you posted on that. If, they're available, it wouldn't be until January. Is that a paid internship? We do do a paid internship. Okay. Um, and we worked closely with their career office, Gerald Williams, and um, to make sure that we're getting somebody that matches up with marketing public relations. <coughs> um, and then you can read um, the remainder of our reports, and I think there's a report. Thank you, Ms. Schwarr. Any questions? All right, we'll move on.